Good evening. Praise God. Praise God, everybody. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray that you are having a blessed evening. Um, I don't just get on here anymore and ask you all know that. So God bless you. It's been a minute, a hot minute, right? Praise God. Praise God. So this teaching, I want you to go ahead, press tag, press share, um, and just walk with me because I got to teach this. I can't preach this. I got to teach this. Okay. So basically, this is my title. My title is Territorial Demons. Demonic quarters are opening everywhere. The church is not aware of this, you know, because we, we so, as a church, we're so busy bickering, competition, you know, you know, all this other stuff. And yet people are dying. And God says the reason why people are dying is because the church is not addressing demons, you know, which I don't understand because if you really look at the whole New Testament, that's all they dealt with was demons. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And so basically what God is saying is that the church is not, you're not coming together and praying. You know, we're going to take an example and I'm going to try not to go off here. And I want to go ahead and do a disclaimer right now. I'm not trying to bash anybody, but if the shoe fit, lace it up, wear it, whatever. Hallelujah. And so in Chicago, all right, I, I'm going to name the cities right now for you, the major cities, Chicago, Atlanta, L.A., also different countries, London, New York. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Orlando. I just found out that out actually being here. So what am I saying? These are all major cities that have demonic quarters that are open but i'm gonna go ahead and teach this thing praise god okay so bear with me i have a lot written down and so after this you're going to understand what i'm talking about so while i'm getting all the information together just to smooth and go along with what i want you to do is to be writing some things down i'm going to give you solutions on how to stop excuse me what's going on in each city in each city, you know, I told you all about a book. It's called Frankie Peretti, Piercing the Darkness. It's a thick book. Oh, it's way over there. I can't, I'm not even going to get it. But it's a thick book, but it talks about territories. Okay, you ever notice that when you go on vacay, like some of you like to do, you feel so light and, and, and you like the scenery and it's so relaxing and calm? That's because that area is actually went over by the saints. But anytime you go to Chicago or metropolitan Atlanta or, or anywhere where there's a lot of crime. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Oakland, Oakland, California. Come on, somebody. LA, you're going to feel the pressure of those demons because they're running things. So we're talking about territorial demons, but hold on. They didn't just get here. The, these are portals that are being opened by these demons and by witches and warlocks that are actually, some of them are in the church. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So let me go ahead and teach this thing the way I need to. So how do you get rid of this? You got to come to, on together in one accord. And you see, the enemy is so slick. He got everybody bickering until the church can't stand to be together. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. You, you make a blow when fivefold is working. The fivefold ministry, apostle, prophets, pastors, preachers, teachers. Y'all not doing that. Church not doing that. The church don't want the prophets in unless they can control the prophets. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Then the pastors, that's my church. That's not your church. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Let me go ahead and, and teach this thing the way I need to. Praise God. Go ahead and bear with me. It's a lot of information. Okay. All right. So, and I'm going to, all right. So we're going to start with, okay, hold on. All right. So let's talk, let, let's start with what are portals, Okay. Portals are ancient doors and ancient gates. You know how I always talk about your eye gate, whatever you entertain. Come on, somebody, how do y'all call it entertainment, but you don't understand. It's entering in, tame, contain, mutt. That's why you got to watch what you listen to. You got to watch what you hear. So it's almost like that. They, these are gates. These are spiritual gates, by the way. Okay, so let me go ahead and read. Ancient gates or doors are portals of access established by God from the third heaven to earth. They're also obstructed by demonic interference in which angels travel from the heaven and back again while provisions are delivered, transportation, translation, and revelation are given to men. That's just like when you're in services. When you're in service and think about it, I don't know how you got to usher in. I don't like when they say that, but let's say you're getting ready to worship. What happens? The Holy Spirit comes. But what you don't understand is that before the Holy Spirit really comes, the angels come down and they prepare 
the atmosphere. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. They prepare the atmosphere for the Holy Spirit to come. Well, that's the same thing about these porters. Let me continue. In Daniel 10, 13, he is informed that the prince of the kingdom of Persia was withstanding, standing opposite the angel for 21 days. Michael, one of the chief princess angels, came to help fight through the porter in the demonic land of Babylon to give Daniel understanding. So you remember when he said it took him 21 days? That's because they was fighting through the portals. Now, now porters are for angels, demons, you understand? That's why the spiritual war is going on right now. You see, we're just living our little world, going to work, going to church, you know, going to the movies, playing golf, whatever the case. But the angels and the demons are fighting 24-7. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. That's why God says, I, 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 I pray that you meditate day and night. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. That's why we're supposed to pray, not just for ourselves, but for our angels. You have angels. Come on, somebody, hallelujah, surrounding you 24-7 a day. And some of you don't even use your angels. Oh, hallelujah. You're wondering why the atmosphere is not changing because you ain't using your angels. Let me continue because I'm getting a little happy. Hallelujah. In the book of Genesis, chapter 28, verses 10 to 17, the story of Jacob's dream is recorded. He had a dream, and behold, a ladder was set on the earth with its top reaching the heaven. And behold, the angels of God were ascending and descending on it. Now, this is in Genesis 28 and 12. That's why I said, go ahead, get your pen, record some of this so you can go back and see it. Because I just don't want to give you something without giving you scripture. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Now, in the book of Genesis, chapter 28, verses 10 to 17, the story of Jacob's dream is recorded. He had a dream, and behold, a ladder was set on the earth with its top reaching the heaven. And behold, the angels of God were ascending and descending on it. I'm reading that again. In verse 13, God is standing at the top of the ladder, and behold, the Lord stood above it and said, I am the Lord, the God of your father um, Abraham, and the God of Isaac, and the land in which you lie, I will give it to you and your descendants. These verses are a wonderful account of how God reveals a portal in dream to a man, a prophecy, Jacob's destiny to him. Once in praise and worship at church, you see portals opening. If you really tap in the spirit, you can feel it. One day, and I have to tell this story, one day I was in church, and, and it was so crazy because, and I'm going to be very transparent as I always am, the praise and worship leader, her and I just really didn't, well, I had told a prophecy to her husband, and her husband ended up closing the church. So I think she had that against me because he believed it, but guess what? It ended up panning out for him because he ended up on TV and doing some major things. But she never quite understood because you know, sometimes I think women and men get in the flesh like, oh, that's the one that did it, as if I took her first ladyship away. So anyway, she ended up being the praise and worship leader at the church that I was going to. And when I was fellowshipped in, she wouldn't, she wouldn't even shake my hand. It was crazy. So I'm looking at her on the top, at, at, you know, on the stage worshiping. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. You know how we talk to ourselves? I was like, God, how am I supposed to believe that this woman is real when she don't even like me? Come on, somebody, hallelujah. But I'm going to tell you what God challenged me one day. He said, Deanna. Don't worry about her. Why don't you press? Press in like never before. Let me tell y'all what happened that day. I pressed in like never before. That is the first time I ever saw this. I literally saw angels coming down. And I was so in awe until I went higher and higher and higher. And the higher I went, the more I began to worship, the more I began to cry. I mean, I, I didn't even I didn't even know where I was at one point. Cause I knew I was at church, but you know, the presence of God will overwhelm you. The presence of God will overtake you. So long story short. Do you know the end of that service? That woman actually came up to me and she said, I love the way you worship. And I was looking because like, okay, God, she don't even like me. But, but listen to this. While I was obedient, God was working in me through worship and he was working in her to watch me. Y'all hear what I just said. So it's, it's very important to be obedient. It's very important because guess what? These portals are opening. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But you got to move. If I had been stubborn and say, nah, I'm not worshiping because of her, because of her. I'm saying something because some of you not understanding. That's why some of your blessings are being held up because you're looking at the person. Oh, I don't like them. Oh, I've had a situation with them. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. It could be me. You know how many people have a problem with me just because of who I am and what I say and what I preach and what I teach. Not even understanding that I might be a blessing. Hold on. In the spirit and not in the physical. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So you have to understand how porters are provision, which is my next subject. In Psalm 78, 23, 25, God opened the doors of heaven and fed the Hebrews in the desert the food of angels. You know, manna. Oh, come on, somebody. How did God do that? Now, hold on. 
It was a portal that was open because they sure didn't reach up to heaven and, oh God, I'm going to take some manna. The manna rained down on them. That was a portal, you guys. Hallelujah. Though he had commanded the clouds from above and opened the doors of heaven and had rained down manna upon them to eat and had given them corn of heaven, man did eat angels' food. He sent them meat to the full. All right, let's talk about Ezekiel, the porters opened. Now it came about in the 13th year of the fifth day of the fourth month, while I was by the river of Chabar among the exiles, I saw the heavens were open and I saw visions of God. So how is it important? How important is it for you to be in the spirit of God so you can understand the portals? That's why the church don't understand. You know, I, I'm not trying to be funny, but I, I have to ask myself about Chicago and other cities. How is it? that the pastors, the leaders, haven't gotten together. God, what should we do? Come on, somebody, hallelujah. I'm not trying to bash. I'm not trying to be messy. I'm just telling the truth. How is it? Because I'm going to tell you right now, since I've been here in Orlando, hallelujah, especially in this area, now at first things was happening. That's how I knew that my anointing was strong. I mean, it was some weird things happening on right on the street, truth be told. But I, I wrote, and I have it in my Bible, I wrote City of Orlando, Community of Orlando, police of Orlando. I, I wrote everything down and I pray over it every day. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray over this community. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray over everything the whole Orlando area, Father God. I say in the name of Jesus that you say, you have to call him back to his word, that you say everywhere my foot tread, then that means that I have control and authority. Luke 10, 19, come on somebody, hallelujah. If something is going on in your area and your neighborhood and your city and your state, then guess what? You're the problem, hallelujah. And you got the answer. Oh, come on somebody, I'm just being honest with you. So, 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 let's talk about Chicago again. Pastor, preacher, teacher, apostle, where you at? I'm going to shut up, continue, continue this. Okay, so the hand of the Lord was on me there, and he said to me, get up, go out to the plain, and there I will speak to you. So I got up and went out to the plain, and behold, the glory of the Lord was standing there, like the glory I saw by the river, Shabar, and I fell on my face. This is Ezekiel 3, 22 and 23. So it's so important for you to be in the spiritual room so you can see. You know, one day I was in Sacramento. And I saw this big old territorial demon just sitting on the church. It's like he owned it. And I'm not kidding. And that area, it was definitely, definitely an area of crime, robbery, all kind of things. And I could never understand. And I have to be honest. I kept asking God the same thing that I'm asking about Chicago. I say, God, how is it that church is blessed and yet they can't take control of this area? you got to stay pure. That's the only way you can do it. How do you stay pure? You can't do things that is not of God and think that the spirit of God can flow through you and you can heal, deliver, lay hands, cast out demons. That's just not going to happen, church. I'm sorry. And we got too many people trying to do it. I'm sorry. That doesn't happen unless you are purified and tried. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You, you cannot. You cannot cast out demons. You cannot lay hands and heal and deliver. Oh, hallelujah. He says, prayers of the righteous avail it much. Well, that's the same thing with laying on hands. You got to be right. I didn't say perfect. You got to be right. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Let's continue to talk about portals over geographical locations. Habakkuk, in the second chapter of Habakkuk, we see the prophet faithful to watch and see what the Lord will say to him and what the Lord says and speak to write it down. Habakkuk is waiting at the place where he faithfully goes and pray and wait on the Lord. Often God will establish a portal over a geographical location after long prayer supplication has been made faithful by the servant of God. You have to be consistent, consistent. You can't pray one day and not pray the next. And, and that's what people are not doing. You're not being consistent. I'm not saying you don't love God, but you're not being consistent. So when things are not changing, that means you're not being consistent. And then a lot of people get frustrated. Well, God, I've been praying. I've been praying, but nothing's happening. He says, unless you help faith. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So let me continue. He says, I will stand upon my watch and set my up on the tower and will watch to see what he was saying to me and what I will answer when I am approved. And the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run. Read it. Come on, somebody. And that was Habakkuk 2, 1 and 2. You see, porters can be established in a certain geographical location. Some are known today in the earth, such as Jerusalem. Why do you think all that's fighting over there? Those are porters, and that's not only that, that's a holy city. Many Christians who travel to Jerusalem report being flooded with revelation of things from God, supernatural experiences such as dreams, visions, transportations back and forward in time. Now, let's talk about that. I've had, 
I don't know how many, I, I would, maybe 10, 11, 12, to where, and I'm not kidding, out of body experience. I'm, they call it traveling back in time. I don't want to call it that because that kind of scientific stuff. No, I saw this. My body laying on the bed and I'm up and I'm like, okay, I ain't gonna lie, it's scary. It makes you feel like, okay, am I, you know, you're not high, let's just be honest. You know, you ain't drinking, you know, you ain't doing nothing. And when I looked and I saw the angel, he says, come with me. This is when I saw so many things, like I saw a demon meeting. There were so many demons and it was talking about how they going, was going to penetrate the church and how they was going to destroy the church and how, to be honest with you, demons work together. It's only church people that tries to be, you know, the best at this and the best at that and, you know, competition here and competition there. Where it was at that meeting, I realized this stuff real because what happened, and the angel probably, they allowed that on purpose. The demons looked, looked like at one point they looked at me and they just turned around and looked and yes i got scared i can't even lie to you and i remember saying we gotta go we gotta go they, they know who i am he said they've been knowing who you were i just said something let me tell you something you guys this is a spiritual war don't let nobody fool you don't you know i heard something lord i knew you was gonna make me say it i i'm i'm, I'm gonna do another video on this person but y'all know him he's a bishop he says something about God don't talk to people every day. And I was like, whoa, he forgot about Abraham. He forgot about Isaac. He forgot, he forgot about, got a lot of people. He forgot about Deanna. Oh, come on, somebody. Well, anyway, my whole thing is that the spirit of God is real. But we got to stay. It's just like getting up, going to work. Y'all do that every day, huh? Because you got to pay them bills. Well, it's the same thing. You better stay with God because you don't know what's finna go. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You see right now, everybody worrying about being successful. Everybody's being branded. Everybody worries about followers and things of that nature. But let me tell you something. Let me spit some real stuff to you, okay? I, 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 I'm going to tell you the truth here. You see when things start coming, persecution, and it's already coming, where it's going to hit the churches and they start closing these churches and we can't even talk. We can't even have a Bible. You see when that stuff hit for real? Everybody going to want to go to another level. Oh, Father God, y'all going to want to start praying more. Oh, come on, somebody. You're going to want to start fasting more. Oh, come on, somebody. You're going to really take it serious. But right now, people ain't taking it serious. Mm -mm, mm -mm, not really. They're not taking it serious. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Let me continue about portals. Now, these portals are very important because you'll always know what type of demon it is because here's the deal. The type of demon is the one that's over the city. Now, I'm going to name some cities, and I'm going to tell you some things, and you, immediately you're going to understand. Atlanta, what do you think of? Homosexuality spirit. That's that portal that's open. And, and it's getting stronger. That's one of the strongest ones. As a matter of fact, that's that's one of the oldest spirits ever, and it's one of the strongest. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. When you think about Chicago, what do you think about? Murdering spirit. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. When you think about L.A., what do you think about? Gangs. All right, when you think about Louisiana, what do you think about? I forgot to say that Louisiana is a portal too. What do you think about witchcraft? Come on, somebody, hallelujah, I'm all in your thing. Orlando, let me tell you about Orlando, and I'm here. I got to watch what I say because some, some legal things are going on right now, so I can't really say how I want to say, but after that, oh, I'm going to say the truth. I can't say nothing right now, but I'm bound until after all this legal stuff. But anyway, I will say this. I never knew. I didn't know it was that heavy. Um, woo! So wonder this is the place for um, kids. Y'all ain't, ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready. Hallelujah. Because some of y'all want to believe that this is just a beautiful life and everybody's fine and we're just living and having fun and vacationing. Everything is a spirit and you'd be surprised. In this city, blood of kids. There's so much stuff going on. I, I can't, because I know me, if I go this way, I'm going to go, and I, I, like I say, some legal things are going on, so I can't do that right now. But I will. Oh, I promise you that. So let me continue about porters. Porters can be established even over a person's life. As we find over Jesus' life, he said, and he said to him, truly, truly, I say to you, you will see the heavens open and the angels of God ascending and descending the Son of Man. That's in John 151 come on somebody when he was baptized now when all the people were baptized he was praying what happened they say heaven and what did god say he said this is my son whom and whom i am well pleased come on somebody so that that's portals that's what i'm trying to tell you this portals do you know you can have a portal in your house oh come on somebody hallelujah that's why you ain't supposed to just let everybody come y'all but some of y'all y'all just think this is life keep on believing it's life then you wonder why what's that i can't sleep or, oh come on somebody hallelujah you don't hear what i'm saying um, at one point, 
and I have to say it like that at one point. I remember when I was in Manor, Louisiana, and I just started. I had just started ministry. Now, this is, this is in 1996. My apartment, and I'm not kidding, was so holy. That's all I would do is pray, pray, pray. I was the youth minister. That's how I started in, in this, okay? 20, this is what, 23 years, not going on 24 years. So long story short, I remember one day some people was coming and see me. Do you know <laughs> they couldn't they couldn't get come past the door? I, I, I said, come on in. They was like, they couldn't. I was like, I ain't gonna lie, it's kind of scared me because you know I'm new. I'm like, and I didn't know. And they tried to come. No, that's all right. And I didn't think nothing of it. So I said, okay, I'm gonna come with y'all because they were coming pick me up anyway. But I, I was finished getting ready. Now, it, many years later, I know why they couldn't come in. <laughs> they must have been doing something they had no business y'all don't hear what i'm saying come on somebody so let me continue the lord has promised us that as long as we remain at our current location the portal will be established when we leave the house the portal will be removed this is for christians remember the war room that stuff was real and that's why you're supposed to have a room in your house if you can you know what i'm saying or even the bathroom or even the whole house go through the whole house with scripture you don't hear what I'm saying. I'm telling you right now. Praise, praise God, praise God. You see, let me continue. Porters established over individuals. Jesus. All right, hold on. Let me continue. Now, much of this personal revelation will be revealed when the gates of heaven open to the people that are taught mysteries, such as what is holding back. This is what's holding back revival, said the Lord, happening in our churches, cities, and regions of the earth. There will be individuals who will minister under a portal of an open heavy and carry a heavy anointing upon their lives. This is a prophecy. Hallelujah. Don't you understand that it is coming? That's why we're being tried. Oh, come on, somebody. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah to his name. Hallelujah. You don't hear what I'm saying. That's why it's been going through hell. That's why the enemy is upset. That's why it's been killing and murders. Because guess what? He's sifting the wheat right now. He's sifting the wheat. This is mine. This one's not. This one's mine. This one's not. This one got the anointing. This one is a, a wood. You know, vessels of gold and wood. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. That's why if you have been going through, I said if, because... Some of you, if you ain't been going through, then maybe you need to assess the situation. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because only if it's valuable, the enemy is after you. If you ain't got no anointing, he's not after you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because to be honest with you, most Christians want the rudiments of this world. Most Christians want money. Most Christians want, want fame. Oh, come on, somebody. And a popular name. Oh, but God is looking for some people in this season that just want Jesus. I just want Jesus because you saved me, God. I want to save my brother and my sister because you healed me, God. I want to heal my brother and sister because you delivered me, God. I want to deliver my brother and sister. God is looking for those. Hallelujah. So the rest of them, you see, let me tell you something. Oh, I'm, I'm going to teach it and preach it tonight. Those that know me personally, oh, I was something else back in the day. I was doing everything but what a child of God should do. I really didn't want this. Oh, no, I didn't. And I find myself, hallelujah, y'all don't hear what I'm about to say, hallelujah. I find myself with a heavy anointing, maybe because I didn't want it. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. There are some that just wanted to, 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 to pimp people. There are some that just wanted to be in the limelight. There are some that just wanted to take advantage of people. But the ones that didn't want it, that's the ones he pulled heaven. And he said, I need you, hallelujah. I need you to come up in prayer. I need you to fast. I need you to pray. I need you to consecrate yourself. And I ain't gonna lie. It's hard. Oh, you thought I was playing? This is hard. Oh, come on somebody. Because guess what? Especially being a prophet like I am. They don't like me. Oh. And at first I had a problem with that. I used to cry. I said, God, they're not calling me to preach. They're not calling me to teach. What is this God? Hallelujah. You said God. He said, Deanna, Hold on, let's talk about the financial part. I said, God, they, they prophesy I'm supposed to be a millionaire. So I said, Deanna, is there a millionaire prophet in the Bible? <laughs> he said, Deanna, is there a prophet that they did like? Oh, come on, somebody. He said, Deanna, you don't hear what I'm saying. And I, I finally said, yes, Lord, hallelujah. Because when you truly begin to understand and the wisdom and discernment set in, then you realize nothing about people. And the sad part is, guess what? Not even knowing those same people going to need you one day. Hallelujah. Isn't that funny? Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because guess what? When things happen, I'm reminded of, I'm reminded of Moses. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm reminded of the first one. They didn't believe him. They did not believe him when he was building that ark. When Noah was building that ark, they laughed. They laughed. But you see when them doors closed, boom, 
they will live in the moha. And I find it to believe that this is the same spirit that's on the earth today. They laugh, they mock, they think this is a game. Oh, that they're, they're, they're just doing too much. This is scientific, you know, just like some people. And I'm just going to call it, they be on Facebook talking about mental illness. It, 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 it's a scientific, you know what? Stop that bony baloney. You are a liar before God. Everything is a spirit. Hallelujah. And how I know because Jesus cast them out. Hallelujah. You remember the guy that was chained up in the, in the graveyard? He said, he, say, he, he has a, a, a crazy spirit, an insane spirit. That's the same thing as mental illness, but yet we put everything with a brand and I'm gonna tell you what's going on with the church I'm not against education, but what I am against is that you're so intelligent until you know more than God. Hallelujah. Come on somebody. Hallelujah Let me continue By, by open portal encounters a biblical understanding of the scriptures will come bringing clarity to the meaning of the verses Thus bringing corrections to erect doctrines in some doctrine areas in the church today God says that they are teaching false doctrine. Everybody want a new doctrine. Do you know what? God is the same today, yesterday, and forever. More quit lying to people. Ain't nothing new under the sun. Oh, hallelujah. All we did is come back around. Hallelujah. I feel that we are in biblical days. Oh, they don't like Jesus and they're not going to like us. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And whether you believe it or not, it is us against them. So don't come to me talking about, oh, pray for them. I'm not praying for no demon if they are truly already a demon. Now, if they are a Christian possessed with a demon, I will pray for them. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Jesus ain't never prayed for no demon. Hmm. Oh, let me continue. God says that at least he hoped that people are willing to accept truth. Indeed, some saints are already experiencing these open heaven encounters and speak and write about them today. And that's the ones that y'all don't even believe. There are some people, they're not famous. They just fly by nighters. And they ain't even trying to get famous. They just say what well, does say the Lord and they go, Woo, hallelujah. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. You see, Paul experienced great revelation just as spoken by the prophet Daniel in chapter 12, 3 to 4. Paul heard such expressive words that he speak what he was not permitted to speak. I know a man in Christ for 14 years ago, whether in body I do not know or out of the body I do know. God knows such a man was caught up in the third heaven. And I know how such a man, whether in body or apart from the body, I do not know. Do you understand what I just said? The third heaven. Most Christians are just on the surface. They don't want God all the way because when you really have God all the way, those portals are open. And guess what? Everything is being judged. What you say, what you don't say, what you do, what you don't do. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Let me continue. God says in Psalms 118, 19 to 20, the scriptures speak of the believer entertaining in open to me the gates of righteousness. I should enter through them. I should give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. The righteous will enter through it. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. I strongly believe that the body of Christ, that we don't seek poles or gates or even minister under the, under the open heaven. But we do seek is God with all our hearts. It is continually seeking him and being for that these portals will be established and will be open for his purpose and his glory. Hallelujah to his name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and that is on portals. Now, how do we get these portals closed, even in your home? And you can tell because you can't sleep. Some of you wake up crying. Some of you, something's wrong. Something's in my house. Now, let me tell you something. It's not just portals. What these evil people use is witchcraft, mainly through the hair. I've told y'all before, some of y'all leave y'all hair everywhere. You're supposed to put your hair in, a, in some toilet paper or tissue, you know, whatever. Flush it. And, and I always pray a prayer over my stuff. Father God, in the name of Jesus, no perform against me or my house shall prosper. I serve it to the root of that thing. No evil witch, warlock, child, and shapeshifter. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Whatever, whoever. This stuff real. This stuff real. And unless the church open up and wake up, we're going to be defeated, which I rebuke because God said not so. Hallelujah to his name. But these portals are opening up more and more and more. That's because, guess what? The world has come into the church, and now the church want to be famous. The church, the church don't want to pray no more. I'm gonna tell you what's the what God said to do. We gotta go back to shut-ins. We gotta pray all night. You remember when the old people used to labor? We used to labor if somebody had demons in them all night long. Y'all don't want to labor. As a matter of fact, y'all want to be out of church by if the church start at three. Y'all want to be out by four. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah! Fast food churches. Oh, come on, somebody, y'all know fast food ain't good for you. Hallelujah! I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah! Nobody playing. 
We got to come back to biblical applications. We got to come back to biblical understanding. And I'm going to tell you what thus said the Lord. He said, love each other for real. Quit being jealous. So much competition. This one, that one, this one, that one. And aging them but a number. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You got the young ones jealous of the old ones. You got the old ones jealous of the young ones. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We're all supposed to be working together. Thus said the Lord. So these portals are opening. How do you close these portals? You pray. You pray. You pray over your city. You pray over your community. You pray over your church. You pray over your pastor. You pray. But hold on. Prayers of the righteous avail it much. If you ain't right, ain't no sense in praying. I'm just being real. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to his name. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. This thing is real. These porters in these cities, that's why children go missing. That's why people go missing. Because guess what? They're doing sacrifices. This stuff is real. It's what is sacrifices? The blood. The same thing that Jesus did on the cross is the same thing that evil people do. Come on, somebody. They try to assimilate the, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. But they do it with the cutting of the blood. Come on, somebody. That's the only way they can have power. Oh, come on, somebody. That's why so many people are disappearing. That's why sex trafficking, everything. And, and, and I'm, a, I'm, I'm almost released because I've been in consecration for a while. But God is getting ready to release me. And I'm telling you right now, I feel a heavier anointing. And if you thought I was crazy, then I, I'm going to really call out some stuff because uh, y'all doing too much, that said the Lord. Y'all doing too much. And you know it is true. Everybody want to be great. Can you just want Jesus? Can, can you give that person a ride without asking for some gas money? Can you just pray for your sister because? Oh, come on, somebody. Quit, quit being upset with each other for nothing because people tell you the truth. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Quit dressing like a, a slut in church. Oh, I'm, I didn't did it. I didn't say it. Just stop. Just stop. It is his holy sanctuary. Hallelujah. What am I saying? There's no fear of God. <laughs> but he says, thus said the Lord, I am God all by myself. And just as he did with Noah. Now, he ain't going to let no water come back up. But I see fire. Y'all know this is going to be destroyed by fire this time, right? I'm telling you right now. God is a good God. He's a loving God. But he's a God of wrath. And I'm going to leave you with that one because some of you still play with God as if he is man. And I'm telling you, he said, stop playing with him. Stop playing with him. Stop playing with him, thus said the Lord. And that's all I have for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. Yeah, I'm sweating. That's how you can tell that fire of God. Hallelujah. 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 All right, everybody. God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.